Embark Studios has released a new balance patch for the finals and it's a huge step in the right direction. Many of the most overpowered abilities were nerfed in one way or another and I'm going to quickly break down the most important parts of the patch and how I think the meta will shift after playing on the patch last night. The first thing to note is that the mesh shield health was reduced to 1100 from 1250. Uh, this is a great change. I was hoping for more. I was hoping it to be lowered to like a thousand or even 900 because it's still going to be used all the time. It's still a great ability, but at least this change weakens it a little bit. Recon senses was buffed slightly. And this is honestly probably the best ability in the game that hardly anyone seems to use. One day they're going to nerf it because you can literally see enemies from across the entire map. It's just extremely valuable for general information on where enemies are and how they're approaching you. Also with the stealth meta with lights, you can see them coming. You can uh, target them way easier. It's just a fantastic ability recon senses and them buffing it. Uh, I think they're just trying to kind of get people to notice it. So that's one change. Uh, moving on from that, C4 has been a big problem. Uh, C4 was nerfed, thank God for that. The heavies are still building what players would call nukes, where they throw a bunch of C4 on an explosive canister, they throw the canister at you, detonate the C4, and it just does massive AOE damage. But with these changes, it's not as broken as it was before. It's still too good. It's still too hard to counter, I think, and it needs to be nerfed more or changed somehow. But hey, it's a step in the right direction again. Uh, Dome Shield was nerfed slightly. Another hit to heavies who are quite dominant right now. Big change to some mines. Not all of them, but some of them. So they take time to arm now once they attach to a surface. This makes it so they aren't just like short range grenades. You can just kind of toss in someone's face and they detonate right away. They have to actually arm. So this is a good change. Kind of helps lights out a bit because they were getting blown up instantly by some of this stuff. Yeah, it's a good change overall, but nothing like insane. Um, moving on from the mines, we have the RPG. Big changes, obviously. Everything nerfed. Basically, it, it makes it very hard to one-shot a light now. You have to have like a perfect shot in order to, to one-tap them. Uh, and honestly, I think that the RPG could kind of or the RPG should be used for like quick demolition, like quickly blow a hole in a wall or something, not as an offensive weapon. Uh, it, it should do some damage, of course, but it not nearly as much as it does currently. So this is a good change overall, but I still would like to see max player damage reduced to like 100. Like this should just like kind of accent or be an opener for a fight against the team maybe, but not like this insane burst damage skill. So. Anyway, it's harder to hit, it does less damage. From there, some slight changes, stun gun change, not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's a little bit longer range. Uh, some weapon changes, a big one, the LH1 damage was increased by two per shot. You might start to see more lights try and use this. I know I've been using it a bit. It's not bad, this will definitely help. Flamethrower changes, I wish they would increase the distance on the flamethrower again. Uh, make it go longer and also I think if you actually ignite someone with a flamethrower it should burn them for a little bit longer as well so those are changes I hope to see in the future I've been experimenting a lot with the flamethrower it's great in some spots but obviously terrible in so many others so hopefully that gets uh, improved in the future uh, but the nerfs we we're looking for were for the SA1216 um, basically this is the uh, shotgun for the heavy that's been dominating the meta they made it so the pellets spread out a little bit more. So unless you get like a nice solid shot in someone's chest, you know, some more of the pellets might miss. And then the damage per pellet was reduced from uh, uh, eight to seven. So yes, it was nerfed. Is it enough? Uh, some heavies might use the Lewis gun more and stuff like that now, but I still think this is going to be the go-to weapon for a lot of people. It's still very good. So um, we'll see what happens with that. Other than that, not a whole lot else uh, worth mentioning, really. It's not really going to shake up the meta dramatically, I don't think. Uh, lights didn't get much help. There's still going to be an outsider in ranked unless you're like in a group of three and your team knows how to play with a light and like you're really good with the light. Uh, it's still very hard to navigate with all the mines and the RPGs, the explosions, the shields. It's not really in the light's favor still. The meta will probably shift from more of a heavy, heavy medium team to something more of a 
of a heavy medium medium where you know the heavy will still use double shields and probably the shotgun a medium with a healing beam will still be around but the other medium is probably going to be using recon sense you're, you're just going to be very safe and controlled you're going to have shields you're going to have heals you're going to know where people are coming from you're going to have landmines lots of utility defib stuff like that so still uh, a ton of utility in the medium medium heavy spectrum lights i don't know man they got to do something i think to try and work their way in there we'll we'll see what happens my hot take for the week is a bit of a doozy here actually uh i was thinking about this last night and i was thinking what if they take the defibrillator off the medium and give it to a light like this grants them a huge piece of interesting utility obviously and with their mobility could make for some like really unique kind of plays like grabbing a statue zipping out uh you know dashing out using a defib rezzing somebody mediums are just like such a solid backbone right now like they don't really have a weakness when you play medium you don't feel like anything really screws you over too much and, and defib is like they already have all these other tools but lights just have like a bunch of stuff to throw basically and I don't know. It was just an interesting idea. Lights need help somehow, I think. There's so many different options. That could be one of them. Anyway, that's it for this balance patch. Again, uh, uh, props to Embark Studios. Honestly, great patch. It's a step in the right direction. It's what we wanted to see nerfed, and they pulled it off. No complaints from me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the patch.